Pioneers make history. The Taoyuan North Waste Resource Sorting Facility is the first BOO, build, own and operate, combined waste sorting and recycling plant in Taiwan. In 2008, Darko Engineering Taiwan and the Taoyuan County Government invested a total of $80 million involving innovative processes and advanced know-how to preserve the natural resources in a rapidly developing area. In addition to waste sorting and recovery services, the facility also provides an introductory operational health and safety training course and program. Professional, efficient, systematic, and worldwide expertise. As a pioneer in the industry, Darko leads the way in Taiwan by providing the solutions for today's environmental problems to create a better future. The Taiyuan North facility covers an area of 9,256 square meters divided into three distinct zones. Zone 1, Weight Bridge. Zone 2, Factory Proper. The factory section is further subdivided into the Inlet Store Area, Primary Sorting Area, Sorting Area, Sorting Chamber, and Compressing Packer Area. Zone 3, Administrative Office. Introduction to the complete waste sorting and recycling process. Garbage trucks from Taiyuan County Council or private operators arrive at the weight bridge section and enter the inlet store area. The workers select large items which will be held in the automatic preliminary sorting area. Large paper materials and other large items are screened by the coarse sieve sorter. A moving conveyor belt then delivers these items to the manual sorting area, where paper and non-paper material will be separated. At the paper compression chamber, the recyclable materials are compacted into bundles and kept in the storage area. At the coarse sieve sorter, the remaining smaller recyclable materials are screened for further processing. In the triple sorter machine, metallic cans are picked out by magnetic selection. Lighter materials, such as PET bottles, are sorted out by the winnowing device. And heavier items, such as glass bottles, are also separated. After the three types of materials are categorized, other types of materials are similarly removed by manual selection and put into the respective containers chamber. Finally, they are transferred to the container's compression area for compaction and storage. The compacted materials such as paper, bottles, and plastic are then transported to the respective waste recycling facilities for reuse processing to ensure a comprehensive waste sorting, reuse, and zero disposal goal.